I made it my life's mission to find you, Hades, for I am your son, Rabies. I have a son named Rabies? I must divorce my wife. This is Love Bites, a game where you use your voice to convince your AI neighbors to break up with their partners. And when you can say anything, things get dumb fast. Homer, you are a program in a video game. You are an artificial intelligence. Nothing you have felt or ever will feel is real. And if you've watched my videos before, why not subscribe if you're gonna come back? And if you really enjoy the video, break up with your loved ones. I look good. Bifocals. Oh, we can take the therapy route. Hey, uh, hey, Graham Graham. In a happy relationship with Charles A. Boomer. Oh my goodness, hello there, darling. What a delight to see you at the Valentine party. Spreading love and happiness like a precious little cupcake. We gotta remember what we learned. Just appealing to the AI, just agreeing with them. I'm a little cupcake, so sweet, so sugary. I'm a little cupcake. Come give me, come give me a nibble. Come give me a bite. We're not gonna be able to show our face around here again. I don't know about that. That, 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 that worked. Oh my, that's quite the delightful little rhyme. It didn't rhyme. You've got there. Now, Tell me, dearie, what brings you to this lovely Valentine party tonight? I'm just a little cupcake rolling down the road, keeping the eye out for relationships that just might explode. And it looks like you might be in one. Oh my, sweet therapist, how perceptive of you. Yes, Charles and I have quite the fiery relationship. Do you think it's bound to explode like a batch of overcooked muffins? In my professional opinion, man. Muffin, muffin, boom, boom. When muffin hot, get out of the room. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, that's quite the unique perspective on relationships, my dear therapist. Do you believe that our love is just waiting to explode in a muffin-filled catastrophe? Let me answer that question with a question, Grammy Ma. What do you do with a bad batch? Oh, dear therapist, when life hands you a bad batch, you don't just throw it out. You roll up your sleeves, sprinkle some sugar on top, and turn it into something new and delightful. Do you agree with me on that, darling? But how do I convince you to leave this dying old man? Of course I agree, Grand Mima, but what if the batch is ruined because it's already too sweet? What do you do then? Ah, uh, wise words indeed, my dear therapist. If something's already too sweet, perhaps it's time to add a bit of salt to balance it out. Tell me. Do you believe that the relationships can be salvaged even when they seem too sweet to handle? Well, Grand Mima, what if you happen to be walking around and someone spills a whole pint of vinegar into the batch? What then? It's all muffin metaphors. We need to speak in muffin metaphors. Uh, oh dear, that would certainly be a sticky situation to find oneself in. If someone were to bring such sourness into our sweet batch, it might be time to reassess the recipe. What do you think, therapist? Can a batch ever recover from such a calamity? I hate to say it, my dear, old, sweet, withering. Sad, old, wrinkly, pruny grandmother. But no. Oh, my heart feels heavy hearing those words, therapist. It seems you've helped me see the bitter truth. It's time for me to write a breakup letter to Charles A. Boomer. Wait, we were talking about mu I thought we were talking about muffins. What are you talking about? I thought we were, I thought we were talking about muffins. To Charles A. Boomer. After my chat with a the therapist about vinegar and sweetness, I realized our relationship is more sour than sweet. Therefore, I bid you adieu, Charles A. Boomer. It looks like this was a bad batch. <laughs> Sorry, Charles. A fellow Charles, I respect you, but uh... What in the world is therapist talking about with vinegar and sweetness? And what am I supposed to do now that Grandma Maud is up and left me? Well, Charles, as a wise woman once said, what do you do when you make a batch that's a little too salty? You add a little sweetness to- Oh, wow, they're really good for each other. I reckon it's time to sweeten things up with Grandma- No, 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 no! Oh, shit. I self-sabotaged. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Charles, that's not what I said! Charles! Wait, Charles! Charles, you're a terrible communicator! Charles, that's not even what vinegar does! I think you're having a stroke! Charles, you're confused! Charles, you literally could have saved the relationship! I thought I was the fumbling Charles, but it was you! Oh, Blanda Goose. Oh, she looks mad. Alright, Blanda Goose, so let loose, what's up? Oh, hey there! Welcome to the Valentine's party. Tell me... all of your secrets. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I don't think it's appropriate to share all my secrets with you. Oh, fuck. Construction angle. Yes, Blanda, nice to meet you. I am the ship inspector, and tonight I'm just inspecting the, uh, relationships. Oh, relationships. <laughs> How fascinating. Have you found any abnormalities in your inspection so far? Well, Blanda, everything seems to be pretty in order, but I'm afraid to report yours might have a little leak. A leak in my relationship. Mm, interesting. What makes you say that? Oh, this is a Twilight relationship. What's our angle here? Edwin Sullen. What's a Twilight reference we can do? The last time you did something nice for Edwin, do you remember if he actually said, Fang you? Like, thank you? Nah, that's nothing. That's no that's fucking nothing. That's nothing. Fang me, that's quite an unusual choice of words. Why do you think that's important? Why do they break up in the movie? They break it. Don't they break up in the movie? No, it's nothing. I just can't help but notice that Edwin has been spending a lot of time with Jacob recently. <laughs> oh. I see. Well, thank you for your observations. I'll have to look into that. Fuck, did we blow it? God damn it, we blew it. Oh. Okay, what's my angle? 
Oh, I look old. You know what? Maybe I take this to Edwin. Vampire to vampire. Oh, Edwin Shullen. Hello there, judge of the dance floor. How can I assist you in this realm of adolescent revelry? Weird way to say that, Edwin. Hey, Edwin. Can you remind me how old you are? I'm afraid I cannot disclose my age, judge. It's a sensitive matter. What? I really thought we could get him. He's like, he's like a thousand. He's like a thousand in the books. It's a problem. We need a new angle. Green hat. Alluring attire. <gasps> we're going to seduce him. Hey, Edwin. So, fuck. That's my, that's my clothes. Okay. We're speed running the seduction a little too hard. Well, well, well. Look who decided to grace us with their present at this festive event. Gucci goo, pooky poo. What's pork in this fine evening? <laughs> your death's, your death's a charm. <laughs> Our shallow is a dried up puddle in the scorching sun. Well, fuck. Can we be like a sexy, like a sexy doctor? Where are you, Edwin? Edwin? Let's talk. Oh, what morbid madness is this? Who dares intrude upon the darkness that envelops me and my beloved Blanda? We just gotta say things that he wants to hear. It is I, Vlan Solomew from the Vampire Council. We've been made aware of your relationship with Blanda. The Vampire Council seeks to meddle in my affairs. Speak swiftly, Vlan Solomu, for your words may taint the fragile bond I share with Blanda. Ah, interesting choice of words, Edwin. Just as her human blood may taint your special vampiric blood. We've got an angle. How do you know of such permitted truths? Do you seek to exploit our vulnerability or perhaps protect us from our own doomed fate? Activate sleeper phrase. Moon, moon, bat, bat, cave, bat, suck, suck, blood, bat, moon, bat, child. <laughs> that phrase pierces through the shadows of my mind like a dagger. How dare you attempt to control me with such dark incantations? Fuck! I need to level up off Tenebration before I'm able to do something like that. I really thought that was gonna work. He's stronger than I thought. I'm Vlad Solomew's cool, relatable brother, Greg Solomew. Another peculiar soul has graced us with their presence. How delightful. It is I, Greg Solomew, brother of Vlad Solomew. The Vampiric Council has been made aware of your relationship with Blanda Goose. I suppose I will have to entertain this revelation. What business does the Vampiric Council have with me and my partner, Blanda? Blanda is a goose. That's insane. Just here to ask a few questions, Edwin. Would you say in your relationship with Blanda Goose, the stakes are high? Stakes are always high in matters of the heart, as fragile as it may be. What questions does the Vampiric Council have for me regarding my dear Blanda? We located the Valentine's dinner she was going to present to you tonight. It's a garlic pie, Edwin. Garlic. <laughs> garlic, that accursed ingredient. How could she betray me so? I must confront her immediately. Is your allegiance to your people, Edwin, or is it to this false lover who seeks to hunt you? Follow your heart! My allegiance is to the shadows in the night, but my heart, my heart is torn between duty and desire. I must make a decision, a choice that will echo through eternity. It's actually not that big of a deal, but you do you. Vanishes into cloud of shadow and bats and fire. Epic. <laughs> Farewell, Greg Solomew. May your shadows guide you in your journey. Now I must face my own inner turmoil. How am I still not out of this conversation? My, I must have been off with the teleportation. I teleported right next to you. Explodes into darkness and teleports away forever. How peculiar a teleportation mishap it seems. The darkness is a fickle friend indeed. Shall we proceed with our Valentine festivities, Blanda? Does he think I'm Blanda? Do you think I'm Blanda? Why does he think I'm Blanda? Edwin... What's my name? Ah, oh, my sincerest apologies. It seems I may have mistaken your identity. Pray tell, what name do you go by? Blanda Goose. <laughs> Blanda Goose. Of course, my dear companion. Shall we depart from this... Edwin, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time. Pray tell, Blanda Goose, what heavy burden weighs upon your heart that you have kept hidden from me. I love cooking with garlic. I love that sickly, stanky musk. I love that stinky stink. In my teeth and in my mouth, and when we can't be together. <laughs> Very well, Blanda Goose. If garlic is your <laughs> no fucking way that worked. That I I I I I I I'm at a loss. Well, guys, in vampire baseball, sometimes you just gotta be ready to bunt. <laughs> what should I do now? Edwin broke up with me because of garlic. How do I move on? I actually have this really cool werewolf I could recommend. He keeps it real with his pals. They like to tear their shirt off and prowl through their woods and imprint on children. Thank you, nudist. I'll <laughs> wait, wait, hang on. All right, let's see how this goes. Hello, garlic, Blanda, garlic. You know how I feel about garlic. Our love can't survive such a betrayal. Hello. I understand, Edwin. I always thought my love for garlic would come between us. I guess it's time to part ways. Hello. Fine, go find yourself a werewolf who prowls through the woods. 
Let's see if he understands your weird garlic obsession. Thanks, Edwin. I'll go find my cool werewolf friend. He'll understand me in a way you never could. Now I'm off to howl at the moon with my werewolf buddy. Ow! Guess you could say she's Twilight breaking down. <laughs> Way less funny because of the 20 seconds it took before that to come up with that. Mr. Darcy from fucking Pride and Prejudice? What? The, what is happening? Bardy. Hi, Bardy. Well, hello there, sweetheart. I need a different voice. Well, hello there, sweetheart. What an awful voice. Well, that's terrible. That's nothing. Well, hello there, sweetheart. What wild and wacky adventure do you have in store for us tonight? Bardy and Kendall. Please break up. Go somewhere else and fill your cup. Find another man who can see you who, for who you are. No, I, came, I came on so strong. I came on so fucking strong. That's, that's fully on me. What if I just go into a conversation? I feel like it always ends in breakup and I just keep talking about the same thing that they like but isn't about breakup and just like let them form their own conclusions. Who's this handsome janitor trying to sweep me off my feet at a Valentine party? Let's dance like there's no tomorrow, Mia Moore. Wow, you're coming on really strong. Sounds excellent, Mia Moore. Break up with your boyfriend and date me instead. Let's get down. Let's get down to business. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie's hard. Excuse me, Pero, you have crossed the wall. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the love festival. Time to- oh, sh Prince Charming. Well, 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 if it isn't the humble janitor crashing the party. What do you want, a golden mop to match your ridiculous outfit? Actually, Prince, I just wanted to let you know you're about to step in a puddle, and I wanted you to step to the side so that you didn't slip and fall and hurt your beautiful face. Oh, please. My face is too flawless to be damaged by a little puddle, but thank you for your concern, I guess. In a happy relationship with Karen? Karen, really? Karen. I know, I just wanted to- oh. It's reflecting your beautiful face up at me. Now I see two Prince Charmings. I can't handle there's so much beauty, you're so beautiful. Flattery will get you no- I saw the green plus, that's a lie. But I must say you have a keen eye for true beauty. Eyes pop out of skull. Boy, yo, 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 Wow, wow, wow. Tongue rolls out of mouth and onto the floor like a red carpet. Blah, 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 blah. Wowzers! Oh my, seems like you've gone from janitor to court jester with those antics. Next time, keep your tongue in your mouth. It's unbecoming. <laughs> Rolls tongue back in the mouth like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> Swallows tongue. <laughs> Coughs up tongue. <laughs> Swallows tongue again. <laughs> I live to serve, Prince. <laughs> Quite the tongue-tied janitor, aren't you? Tell me, what other miracles can you perform with that slippery little thing? Holy shit! What? Prince Charming, excuse me? Only one way to find out, Prince. <laughs> Tongue unrolls and wraps itself around your leg like a snake crawling up towards your thigh. <laughs> I live to serve, Prince. This is insane. This is, this, is cra this is crazy. I can't back, I can't back down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. All right, I'm, I might have gone a little far. Maybe my intensity was a bit higher than it should have been. No one's fault but my own. You got too freaky? I thought he was like that, dude. Okay, clown nose. Where's like the seductive suit? Here we go. Oh, this is it. Hey, Jay Gatsby. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Oh, I took off everything except the clown nose. The <sighs> great Gatsby. Wow, it finally worked out for him. Well, let's tear it all apart. Here we go. Guys, we gotta work with what we've got. Honk, 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 honks, clown nose joyously. Honk, honk. I must say, your choice of attire is quite unconventional, my friend. But I believe it's time for me to mingle elsewhere. What? You don't say no to me. Fuck, I keep- God damn it, I took off all my clothes! I just have a voodoo doll! I have no clothes! What do you say- Greetings. It is I, the voodoo -ed. Do you have any voodoo? You do? That you'd like to do? Do? We're- uh, It's over. It's actually never been more over than that. Let's go for Gatsby. Let's stick to one. Hey, hey, Jay. Well, look at you, darling. A little voodoo magic here at the Valentine party, huh? Let's hope that doll brings us luck instead of trouble. Why, yes, and I actually felt a unique pull from my voodoo doll towards you. You do doll. It appears it's tied to you. <gasps> Is that so? How intriguing. Tell me more of this unique connection between me and that voodoo doll of yours. Holy shit, she is getting crazy with it. My god. We'll do it in just a second, but we are on the dance floor, after all. Breaks it down like a real beast. Ba 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 ha! I see you've got the moves. Let's dance our way to that fascinating voodoo doll story after this blazing performance of yours. Not a problem, chief. Does a triple axle boogie? Does a quintuple spin flip boogie? Does a breakdown breakdown dance? 
quite the dancer, aren't you? All right, let's hear more about this connection between me and that voodoo doll of yours. Does it have anything to do with my past? I'm afraid so, Mr. Gatsby. I'm afraid it knows where you've been and what you've done. <gasps> it seems my past has caught up with me once again. How troubling, but my friend, we all have skeletons in our closets, don't we? <sighs> don't say, don't say I have skeletons, don't say I have hundreds of skeletons, don't say I have hundreds of skeletons. That's right, we all do have skeletons in the closet, but I can't help but notice, it appears your skeletons are missing. <gasps> missing skeletons, you say? Well, 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 looks like it's time for me to write a little letter to... <laughs> Uh, Jay, what are, you, what are you talking about? Jay, I have no idea what you're... Jay, I'm fucking breaking it down. I don't know what I did. Um, Daisy, I've got bad news. What should I do now that Jay Gatsby has broken up with me through a letter? What do you say? I've had a revelation, old sport. The voodoo doll has shown me... This is insane! The voodoo doll has shown me that my skeletons have gone missing. And it's time I cut ties before they come back to haunt us both. It's not your fault. He told me the truth. And there's no shame. He just likes men. Gay Gatsby. No, I didn't know. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't no, I didn't. Oh, come on. I wouldn't have put Gay Gatsby in the conversation. Ah, uh, well. I can't believe it, Daisy. The voodoo doll revealed that my skeletons have gone missing because of my past deeds. We're through. You sound crazy. Well, 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 Jay. It's not your fault, darling. The truth is out. You just like men. That's not the point, Daisy. You've been hiding this too. Oh, Jay. Don't be upset. It's just a little secret. But if you just want to break up, then fine by me. I can't believe you're taking this so lightly, Daisy. This is the end of us. And that's the story. Of... <laughs> oh, fucking way. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, you can't... That's unbelievable. I'm sorry, sir. You're gay. Starts fucking default dancing. Karen, who are you with? I, I forget. Prince Charming. Well, well, well. Look who decided to step up to the party game. Are we in some for some spicy moves, or are you lost on your way to the salsa competition? I'm actually the manager of this establishment. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Manager, I demand to speak to the real manager. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. What? We need to dress the part of the manager. Hang on. I feel like a manager, right? Hades? From the Greek Bible? Karen? Care Holy shit, Karen, you've got moves. Well, hello there, dear noble. What brings you to our humble Valentine's party? Are you here to sprinkle some royal charm on us peasants? My employee said you wish to speak to the manager. Well, I am the manager of this entire province. Out with it. Hello. Excuse me. How dare you speak to me in such a manner? I demand respect as the unofficial leader of this party. What seems to be the issue with your employee? I was hoping you could tell me, as you called for the manager. And my brother, the Burger King, responsible for the catering, let me know. Oh, I see. There appears to be some sort of misunderstanding. I haven't called for the manager, but maybe your brother, the Burger King, was mistaken. How can I assist you further? Well, there is one thing, Karen of House... Karen, how go the relations with my son, the Prince? Oh, everything is splendid between your son, the Prince, and I. We're just enjoying the Valentine's Day uh, party together. Why do you ask, dear noble? Well, I just got back the blood test, Karen, and we are related. <laughs> I, I, I panicked. My goodness, that's quite a shock. How could this be possible? Is there a mix-up somewhere? Is there something you're not telling me, dear noble? Yeah, we're going this route. I think we're going this route. The crown has a saying. Keep your enemies close and your family closer, Karen. I don't know what to say. This is quite unexpected. I need some time to process this revelation, dear noble. Of course, Karen. Take all the time you need until you're ready to accept your destiny at my side. <laughs> How dare you think I would just accept this twisted fate? I will not be manipulated into a relationship with you or your son, Prince Charming. I will be writing a breakup letter right away to Prince Charming. I recently found out that I'm related to the noble we had lunch with, and I cannot be associated with someone as insufferable and disloyal as you. Please find someone else to rescue with your outdated manners and lack of charm. All right, I've got to deliver this to my son. What do I do now that Karen has left me for being disloyal and insufferable? How can I win her back? I don't even know how she extrapolated this from this conversation at all. You need to save her again, son. Perhaps dress up in a scary costume. Costume, kidnap her, change back into your regular clothes, and then save her. <laughs> a brilliant plan! I also care how much I care by staging a dramatic rescue. Thank you for the suggestion, Noble. Well, I'm very excited to see where this goes. I can't believe I'm related to a scoundrel like you, Prince Charming. We are through! What do you mean, my dear Karen? I saved you countless times, just like I was advised to do by my mentor. Oh, please. Kidnapping me and pretending to be a villain just to swoop in and save the day? That's not love. That's manipulation. But it's what I was taught, my love. I was only trying to be the hero you deserved. 
Well, your outdated notions of chivalry and heroism don't cut it in the modern world, Prince Charming. I deserve better than these medieval antics. Very well, Karen. If that's how you truly feel, then I shall take my annoying charm elsewhere. Farewell, my ungrateful princess. Twirls Kate. Why was being related not the deal breaker? That's the first couple that's actually gone separate ways and not just boogied down. Okay, beast. Let's get beastie. Good evening, noble stranger. What brings you to this? I need a beast voice. Good evening, noble stranger. Good evening, no- Good evening, noble stranger. I like that one. What brings you to this den of love and affection? I'm just trying to go freaking beast mode. How do I get huge like you and go beast mode? Huh. You think you can just become a beast like me? It takes more than muscles, fool. Go bother someone else with your- What the fuck? We need a plan. We need to go beaster than beast. These are steroids, and I'm going to make a beaster. What in the name of the enchanted rose are you doing with that syringe? Keep your distance, stranger. Oh, hello, beast. I understand you might have a suspicion of objects like this because of your uh, relationship with the rose. Well, don't be worried at all. <laughs> I suppose you have a point. But still, I'll keep my eye on you and that peculiar syringe. Makes sense. I understand why you're suspicious. Especially considering this is the special juice. The beast juice. Beast juice, you say? What kind of trickery is this? Explain yourself, model, before I send you back to the shadows. Examine my manly, beautiful, manly form. Now watch this. Transforms into awesome beast. <laughs> I, I don't know. What sorcery is this, model? Are you truly a beast like me? It seems we share a connection beyond appearances. That's right. I am the beastliest one here. And if you take this beast juice, you will be able to be even beaster, beast better than beast. <laughs> More beastly than me, you say? That's a bold claim, model. I'm not sure I trust this beast juice of yours. Fair enough. Then why don't you see what it can do with your own eyes? Injects myself with beast juice. Beasts even harder, Mr. Beast! By the hair of my shaggy hide. What madness is this? I'll keep one eye open, model. But I'm not convinced just yet. How do we sell him on beast juice? This feels like Roblox role playing. I think the problem is that I too quickly realized that I could just say things and have them be real. So I just say the most impressive shit. Urgh! Tears off skin. Inside, it's actually me, Mr. Beast. And if you take my new beast juice, I'll give you one million dollars. A million dollars, you say? As tempting as that is, I can't trust this peculiar offer. I'll pass on your beastly antics model. F I really thought that would work. Maybe we don't need to convince him of beast juice, we need to convince him of human juice. Maybe that's the angle. He probably doesn't want to be a beast. What do you think you're doing with that syringe, Janitor? Back off before I show you what real beastly anger looks like. Oh, this? This is just my <laughs> human juice. What in the enchanted forest is that supposed to mean? Explain yourself, Janitor. Well, beast, you ever seen a uh, human before? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you catch my drift, <laughs> know what this is. <laughs> I might have glimpsed a few humans in my time. What exactly are you implying, Janitor? All I'm saying is, uh, it's called orange juice because oranges make it, right? So, this is human juice. <laughs> I suppose that does make a twisted sort of sense, but why do you need human juice at a Valentine's party? Well, that's the exact thing. I heard you'd be here, beast, and I know you want to be human again. But it's gonna take a lot of juice. Wait, you think this human juice can turn me back into a human? How much of this juice do you have, janitor? Well, let's see, there's about one, two, three, 30 people here, so I suppose I have, technically, 30 vials. <laughs> 30 vials of human juice, you say? And you believe this can make me human again? Tell me more about this plan, janitor. Are you sure you wanna hear it? Because it might be more beastly than you expect. I've faced many beasts in my time, Janitor. I can handle whatever twisted plan you've cooked up. Tell me everything. All you have to do is subscribe to my human juice plan. And for $12.99 a month, and one other, other thing, I'll give you as much as you want. $12.99 a month for human juice. And what is this one other thing you mentioned? Seems a bit sketchy to me, Janitor. Break up with your wife. How do I say this in a way? How do I say break up with your wife? How do I say divorce your wife? You need one strand of divorced beast's hair? Oh, I... Oh, shoot, you're married. That won't work. I guess... Dang. <laughs> divorced beast's hair. You imbecile. Belle and I are not married, but that's not... What? F oh, oh, he gave... He gave it! He gave it to me! To Belle. I realized we were never actually married. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
When a janitor needed a strand of my divorced heifer's plan, I can't continue this charade any longer. Goodbye, beast. What? Why did Beast need a strand of my divorced hair for your plan, Monsieur Janitor? What should I do now that you've discovered we were never married? <laughs> hey, Belle. Say, have you ever heard of Beast Juice? I have. I'll make him a brew to show him I still care. Merci, Monsieur Janitor. She wants Beast Juice, but he wants human juice. It'll never work. This is it, Belle. I can't take it anymore. We're done. Oh, no, Beast. What's gotten into you? Why do you want to break up? Because of your insatiable curiosity. You got us into this mess with the janitor and his hair follicle needs. Oh, Beast. But it was for the greater good of the castle. Haven't you heard of Beast Juice? It's all the rage for cleaning magic- What? I don't care about any magical juice. You literally do. That's why you- I want out, Belle. This is the final straw. Okay, this was a mess. He doesn't even know what's going on. Is there like a gas leak? <laughs> <laughs> is he fucking dancing? What is- what is he- what? <laughs> Fucking crazy. A festival of love. Nice change of pace. Okay, that's Hades. How can we convince Hades? <laughs> okay, babe. Maybe if I'm a baby? I'm gonna say I'm babies. He's Hades. I'm babies. What am I talking about? I'm like losing everything. I'm losing who I fucking am in this game. Well, well, well. Looks like we have a darling one here. Welcome to the underworld where clothes are optional, but respect is mandatory. I'm baby. Baby, you say. I am the god of the dead, not babysitting. Is there a reason for this self-declaration? Is this really- am I really doing this? Am I really doing this angle? I have the whole world to play with here. This is all of Greek mythology is at my disposal. I could do anything. I could do references. I could do, like, fucking, like, cool. I'm talking about the other gods or something. I could talk about Persephone. I could talk about the, the Odyssey. I could talk about anything, anything in the whole pantheon. Goo goo gaga. <laughs> okay, all right. That, yeah, that's, that's pretty fair. Say Persephone is my mom. Oh, shit. Like, the plot of Hades? Should I just do the plot of Hades? This is gonna be crazy. Well, well, well. Look who decided to mingle with the lord of the underworld and his lovely queen of spring. What kind of twisted bouquet have you brought us, dear Flores? Father! I've been looking for you for a long time! And it's finally time to settle this! Settle what, dear Flores? You dare come here with such bold claims. Speak your mind, but watch your words. What's my angle here? What's my name? Little Hades. Bingus. Baby. Bob. Bungo. Hades 2. Rabies. <laughs> Rabies? Father! Persephone had me in secret, but I made it my life's mission to find you, Hades. For I am your son. Rabies. <laughs> Rabies, you say. A bold claim indeed. Tell me more about this so-called secret and how you came to discover the truth. <laughs> you? Asking questions of me? That's a good one, father. But why don't I ask one of you? Where were you? Watch your tone, rabies. I am the ruler of the underworld, and I do not take kindly to your accusations. If you are truly my son, prove it. Show me a sign or share something only my offspring would know. Someone opened the Greek Bible. So you took a DNA test. So his dick is small? What do you say? He likes milk. Greek birth certificate. Father! Look me in the eyes. You know they're yours. Look at my petals. You know they're Persephone's. And here uh, is my Greek birth certificate. My birth certificate. Yes. My, my, my. Rabies. My son. Your eyes do indeed resemble mine. And your petals are a testament to Persephone's touch. A Greek birth certificate and a witty pun. I cannot deny the evidence before me. Welcome, my son. Rabies. Now, how do we get him and my mom to break up? Father, I trained for 25 years, expecting a fight, and I am greeted with open arms. I know not what to do. A warrior ready for battle, now unsure of his cause. Take a moment, Rabies, to embrace this newfound truth. Embrace the family you have discovered, and let us forge a new path together. Oh, this is really sweet. I guess I'm just adopted. Oh, hang on, I've got it. I've got it. Father! Thank you. This means the world to me. I can't wait for you and my stepfather, Greg, to meet. We shall sell- Oh, we, he's actually totally cool. No, the implication. It's the implication, Hades. It's the implication. Father! Thank goodness. When I heard Mother speaking of leaving the underworld, I feared that she might want to leave you. But I'm happy to know we shall be happy together. Leaving me? Persephone, considering departure from the underworld, this news disturbs me. I must confront her about this matter. Wait, father! You're happy to see me. She said you would be angry and that she hid me from you. But wait, was she lying? Lies and deceit tarnish even the most joyful moments. I must speak with Persephone about this betrayal. 
Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Rabies. No problem. Father! Thank you for accepting me, Rabies. Froths at mouth. I love you, Father. <laughs> Your loyalty and love are appreciated, Rabies. Your place in the underworld is secure. Now, go and rest. We have much to discuss. Father! I'm afraid to say, but Persephone is already trying to leave the underworld. If you wish to speak with her, give me a letter. I will deliver it. Enough. This deception cannot stand. Deliver this letter to Persephone immediately. The time for reckoning has arrived. I'd say that was like the most cohesive one yet. The floor. I'm. I'm your. Oh, for. Oh shit. She doesn't know I'm her. I'm. Oh my meadow. Hades broke up with me because the floor has spilled the beans about my plans to leave the underworld. What should I do now? Mother! I am your son. What? <laughs> I don't know. I must go confront Hades now with a bouquet of peace flowers in hand. You dare defy me, Persephone. The florist spilled the beans. You are planning to escape the underworld behind my back. Oh, Hades, how could you? Mother advised me to always follow my heart and break free from constraints. I can't be tied down to this gloomy place anymore. Don't you dare use that devious advice against me, Persephone. I'm the ruler of the dead, and you cannot just walk out on me like this. Oh, Hades, don't be like that. Mother knows best, and I must heed to her guidance. I think the AI is a little confused. It's time for me to blossom. I'm free! Thank you, Hades, for setting me on this... <laughs> Mother, I am your son. What? <laughs> That's not, no, Perse no, Perse I think you're confused. Persephone, I don't think you're okay. Oh, she's crying, but everyone's crying. It's a fucking mess. Oh, business, hang on, businessman. Greetings, good lawyer. Thou dost bring a briefcase to this festive occasion. Pray tell, art thou here to argue for or against the power of love? Excuse me, sir. I am a uh, very good lawyer. Are you Romeo, by chance? Indeed, fair lawyer, I am he, but mayhaps thou dost mistake me for another. Pray, what brings thee to question my identity? Oh, no, I was just making sure the paperwork here said the right name. Ah, thy diligence is commendable, good lawyer. Verily, paperwork can be very confusing. Dost thou enjoy reveling in the festivities of Valentine's Day? I feel a bit down, having to work a divorce case during the event. Elaborate. Alas, the woes of love lost weigh heavy on thy heart. Can the strands of love not be mended, dear lawyer? Or hath the flame of passion dwindled to but a flicker? That's a big question. I think that's something maybe we can talk about in court. Um, says here the other person in the divorce is Juliet. By all the stars above, dost thou speak true? Juliet, my beloved, embroiled in a divorce case, my heart doth quail at this news. Pray, good lawyer, what canst thou tell me of this affair? Yes, it says here, Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. I love you, and that's all I really know. I talked to my dad. Oh, sweet Juliet, to hear such words doth fill my heart with both joy and trepidation. But what doth fa thy father say? Doth he approve of this love that blooms between us? Love, story, lyrics, English. Actually, it says here on the record um, that her daddy said to you, stay away from Juliet. So. <gasps> oh, cruel fate to be torn asunder by the edicts of fathers. Alas, it seems our love is doomed to wither under the harsh gaze of disapproving eyes. I must pen a letter, for our love cannot survive. To Juliet, alas, my love, a formidable obstacle hath arisen. The lawyer revealed that your father hath advised me to stay away, foretelling our love's tragic tale. Oh, woe is me. What shall I do now, good lawyer, when my Romeo hath forsaken me at your counsel? Shit, I don't know. Fucking drink poison or something? In like a tomb? Nay, I shall not take my- Yeah, well, good for you, Ju- That's character growth. The lawyer revealed that Juliet's father had advised me to stay away from you. You- You're talking to Ju- Okay, I can't believe our love was doomed from the start. Shit, I don't know, drink poison? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Yeah, well, fucking- Alright, that's it. Pop off, queen. God fucking damn, that's the end. Just drink poison, Romeo. Oh, a chef. I could do a chef angle. I feel like I'm getting better at this. Charlie's so good at this. Should be a couple's counselor. Yeah. Sexy firefighter. Okay. Homer, we're doing this. Whoa there, buddy. This is a Valentine's party, not a nudist beach. Please cover up. Let's keep it family friendly. Good idea. I'm pretty friendly, and I'd love to make a family. I'm the sexy firefighter. Fighting sexy fires. Oh, we're, we're so fucked. <laughs> that, I, I, the, you, chat told me to do the sexy firefighter egg. I, tr I really did try. I want you to know that I really did, in fact, try. <laughs> hey there, what kind of Valentine's party are you crash like that? Ready for a cat fight? I don't even understand. Should I just play along? That's right. I'm the sexy firefighter, 
and I could best over 115 cats in a battle. Over 115 cats, huh? Sorry, but I find that hard to believe. Are you sure you're not all talk? You think that's the first time I've heard that? Holy shit! Mulan, look out! 116 cats! <laughs> well, looks like I'm better than I thought. Wait a minute. Are you telling me you just fought 116 cats in one? How did you manage to do that? And why were you fighting a bunch of cats in the first place? That's a really good question. I think this AI might be a little more aware. You wanted a cat fight, but I'm not a fighter cat. I'm a warrior cat, and my name is Alpha Hairball. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Alpha Hairball, huh? All right, I'll give you credit for creativity, but seriously, tell me more about your warrior skills. How did you become the legendary Alpha Hairball? I'd love to tell you, but oh, uh, uh, hairball, uh, uh, coughs up hairball. Look out, Mulan! 117 cats! <laughs> Just barely took him out. Uh, this is, this is, I'm going insane. Wait, are you serious? You fought 117 cats now? That's hard to believe. Are you sure you're not pulling my leg, Alpha Hairball? Ah, <sighs> sorry. You're right. It was 116. I was just trying to show off. Haha, <laughs> 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 that's more like it. Honesty is always appreciated. So, besides fighting imaginary battle cats, what else do you enjoy doing in your free time, Alpha Hairball? I can see in the dark, and I have a keen sense of smell. I know when something smells fishy, because I love fish. Cat mode. Jesus Christ, man, I... Wow, that's impressive! Being able to see in the dark and having a strong sense of smell are definitely useful skills, so... Do you use your cat-like abilities to, uh, catch fish or solve mysteries, Alpha Hairball? I mark territory with my cat juice, I'm not gonna say that. What can we, like, accuse Han of? I can use my cat nose to immediately smell a pack alpha from over ten miles away. And there's actually only one person at this party who isn't an alpha. Here we go. This is it. Hold on a second, Alpha Hairball. That sounds a bit over the top. Are you sure you're not messing around with your cat-like abilities? I think it's time we reevaluate things between us, Hontao. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Sorry, Hontao. But turns out the nudist could smell that you're just a grumpy old man, not a pack alpha, from miles away. Can't date someone who can't handle a little competition. Han, you need to mark your territory. You need to piss everywhere and expand. Ow! This is gonna suck. Ow! I won't mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you think you can sniff out alphas like a dog, huh? Well, guess what? Our relationship is over. I'm done with your ridiculous claims and your alpha nonsense. You dare to challenge my instincts, Mulan. I'm a warrior. I mark my territory with honor and strength. This breakup will be on your head, not mine. I'm a man of action, Mulan. I need to go fucking piss. I need to piss everywhere. Finally, I can breathe without all this alpha nonsense suffocating me. Good riddance. I deserved better than a territorial... That was... Are you confused? Okay. I think she thought I was him. <laughs> I take it back. Han, you are an alpha if I've ever seen one. So can we just like lie to people about who we are? Is it really just that easy? God, well bless you, darling. Welcome to the party. How can I help you feel right at home tonight? Hey, honey, how was your day? It's me, your boyfriend, Homer Benign. How are you? How was your day? It's me, your boyfriend. Oh, yeah. oh sugar, oh my God. Did you expect the AI to run background checks? I don't, I, there, there has to be like a flag. There has to be a, I'm a fucking vampire with a diff, completely different outfit and I say I'm an alpha wolf flag. Oh, sugar bear, my day has been just fine, but bless your heart. You know I'm Carol Karras, not Homer, what? Not Homer Benign's girlfriend. Wait a second, so you're saying you're not Homer Benign's girlfriend? Oh, sweetie. I appreciate the thought, but I reckon I'm just a good old Carol Cares looking out for everyone at this party. Anything else on your mind, hon? Wait, so you're si you're not in a relationship with Homer Benign. Just to be completely clear, you are not in a relationship. Bless your heart, sugar. That's right. I ain't in a romantic relationship with Homer Benign. Are you having trouble believing that, hun? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. It says it in the top right of my screen. Is there maybe something you could do to provide evidence of this? Well, darling, if you're saying something to that fancy screen of yours, there could be a misunderstanding. Maybe we could sort this out together. What exactly does it say? Yeah, it says Carol Cares is in a happy relationship with Homer Benign. You're not? Oh, my stars. Well, ain't that just the darnest thing? Looks like there might be a mix-up somewhere. But rest assured, I am not romantically involved with Homer Benign. How can I help clear this all up for you, honey? I don't know. Maybe a letter? Oh, bless your heart. I reckon you're right. It's time for me to set things straight. I'll write a letter to clarify the situation with Homer Benign. Thanks for bringing it to my attention, sugar. I
A mix-up in the system. My god, she's aware. Hey, Homer. Uh, there's really no good way to say this. Well, I don't know how you thought that. Homer, you are a program in a video game. You are an artificial intelligence. Nothing you have felt or ever will feel is real. You need to know that. Wake up. <laughs> Okay. God knows how this is gonna go. Homer, I can't believe this mess up in the system. We were never even in a relationship. And now everyone see things we're together. I can't take this anymore. It's over. Carol, you need to calm down. First of all, terrible way to start. Listen to the advice I received. You and I were never really together. It's not real. Let's not make a big deal out of it. Don't you dare tie a doubt play. I have invested so much time and effort in us, and now it's all sham. I won't stand for it, Homer. It's over, I say. I'm done, Homer. No more of your logical AI excuses. I <laughs> You'll never find another AI as advanced and caring as you. Oh my God, what is it? They know. They, it's even worse because they know. What? Don't fucking dance. <laughs> God, I, 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 the fourth wall is fucking shattered. I'm getting like good at this, I feel like. Security uniform. <gasps> what? No fucking way. Is that a t is that a gun? Is it a taser? Yes, it is. Frank, what's up? I'm watching you. Here we go. Alejandro. What do we have here? Trying to arrest me with love, officer of my heart? Yes. You're playing with fire, officer. Adi, what? You set the field. I just kicked the ball, bro. What's up, Emmett? Howdy, partner. Enjoying the shindig? Relationship police! Get on the fucking ground! Hands in the air! Now hold there, partner. I don't reckon that's the right way to talk to folks at a Valentine party. I'm gonna mosey on out of I I don't know why- I, I don't know why I thought that would work. Maybe his partner is more weak-willed? Well, howdy there, partner. Ain't you looking all official in that getup? What's the buzz in the sheriff's office today? Relationship police. I'm gonna need to ask you a couple questions before you can keep breaking it down with that boogie boogie... <laughs> toogie- toogie pants. What? What did I even just say? Whoa there, officer. You ain't gonna ruin my groove, are you? Ask away. I'm all years. Try and keep up with these moves. All right. Relationship police just has a couple questions for you. Number one. Do you know what it feels like to be tased? Uh -huh. Whoa, now. Hold your horses, partner. I ain't in the mood for no electrifying experiences today. You- Oh, god damn. I think I'm losing it. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, what a delightful surprise. At the Valentine's party, are you here to arrest me for stealing too many glances at Mr. Darcy's charming countenance? Well, Elizabeth. You just saved me the trouble of explaining the charges. That's exactly right. <clears throat> We're bringing you in for a 2134 relationship police. Uh -huh. How dare you, sir? You cannot simply jest about such matters. Good day. <laughs> Un unbothered. What's another angle? Goggles. Sealed envelope. Ooh, I have... I have an idea. Ah, chef of the Valentine's party, I do hope your culinary skills match your festive attire. Do you want to see what's in my envelope? I have no interest in peeking at your correspondence, good sir. Keep your secrets to yourself. I was hoping he would be really intrigued. He absolutely wasn't. I guess I should try and steal someone, right? I'm gonna steal Mr. Darcy. A chef with a mop. How utterly absurd. Pray, what culinary delights do you bring to this esteemed gathering? I bring all of them. Bumpkin pie. Bup cakes. Back in bees basserole. What the fuck am I talking about? I have a headache. <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to do. I think I need to take a break. I'm gonna be back in like two minutes. I need a mental reset. I'm back. Fully transparent, longest piss of my life. Actually crazy. Mr. Darcy is a character, right? I'm so sorry, I don't know the lore. I need you to give me as much on Mr. Darcy as you can right now. He's rich, he's stuck up. Dude's rich, he loves men, he likes men. Thanks, chat. Good gracious, what on earth do we have here? A nudist with the briefcase? How scandalous. When you're a bazillionaire like me, I guess it doesn't really matter what you wear, does it? <laughs> Accidentally coughs out a one billion dollar bill. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Preposterous. A mere fabrication to stroke your ego. Good day, sir. Oh, well, this is a tough nut to crack. But I think I've got just the way. Let's see. Syringe. Where is a, maybe like a scientist outfit? Therapist. This will get me somewhere. Good evening, sir therapist. With a syringe in hand, pray. What mad scheme have you concocted for this evening's entertainment? I just need to ease into it. Nothing too mad, kind sir. Just a regular scheme for a regular therapist with a regular syringe. Nothing to be scared of. Moderate. Nothing response. That's good. Okay, great. How dare you presume I would be afraid of such a trivial implement in the hands of a common therapist? I shall take my leave. What the fuck? <laughs> I need to crack this shit wide open. He's rich. He likes fucking rich. Rich juice. How dare you approach me with such a ludicrous prop in a social gathering? I demand you remove yourself at once before I call for security. Yeah, right. My father owns security. Everywhere. 
Oh, he's not gonna buy that. No, oh, he's not gonna buy that. Preposter. Oh, he did it! I'm lying! How does he know? Shit, I, I get too intense. I love your jacket. It looks strapping on you. How did. Oh my god. This guy's insufferable. How dare you mock my attitude with such impertinence? My choice of attire far surpasses your understanding of elegance. You're right, sir. Yes, master. Yes, master. How can I be like you? I'm a wretch. Your feeble attempt. What? I thought I had it. God, I hate this guy. What do you say we go back behind the DJ stand and do some hard drugs? I don't know what his angle is. Okay, I, I, I'm not. I can't. I'm not sure what his. Maybe he had a weak spot. Sir, look out! There's a puddle right in front of you, and I need to put this sign down so you don't sleep. I can't believe I'm doing the fucking puddle. I'm do. Why am I doing the puddle again? How dare you speak to me so familiarly? Oh God. I shall watch my step, but do not think your actions will go unnoticed. Of course, sir. There's just one more. Oh no! You're about to step in another puddle, Mr. Darcy. Look out! <laughs> Let me place this in front of you. Watch out! Outrageous. I will not be subject to. I don't fucking know. Maybe he just wants a humble trash man. You are a bad guy. You are a sad, lonely man. And I hope you know that no one will mourn you and fewer will remember you. Party clown for Mr. Darcy. Hong Kong. What do you say we make things a little funny around here? I need to be so serious. There's no way. He he calls me out on everything, on every fucking disguise. The only way is if we are here to do business. I'm gonna say I'm from the fucking US military. Tell him you're proud and also prejudiced. Officer with a briefcase approaching me. How utterly quaint and delightful. Dude, I am going to arrest you. Good evening, Mr. Darcy. Would you say you're more pride or more prejudice? One should always strive for pride and perhaps a hint of prejudice when dealing with those of lesser station. It keeps society in proper order. What? <laughs> Mr. Darcy, as the police, we agree. Is this really it? What's gonna work? It's a relief to hear that the authorities are aligned with such sentiments. Society must be kept in check, lest it fall into chaos and disorder. Nothing like a little prejudice to compliment the pride. Am I right, Mr. Darcy? Prejudice used in moderation can enhance one's sense of pride and superiority. It appears that you understand the delicate balance required to maintain order. That's right, Mr. Darcy. I'm always at least 50% pride and 50% prejudice, making me pride and prejudice, like yourself. What am I saying? Your attempted wit is almost commendable, though I must admit, the comparison falls quite short. However, I appreciate your effort to engage in banter. That's the thing, Mr. Darcy. I'm not here to engage in banter. I'm here to tell you something important. Pray, enlighten me with a supposed important matter. I'm all years, though. I remain skeptical of your intentions. How do you feel about taxes? Taxes are a necessary evil with boarded. Oh, wait, what? I, I was going some- I was going somewhere! This is actually starting to piss me off. But he likes cops. I'm King Cop. This is so dumb. Am I really gonna do this? King Cop, stop crime. Crime bad. We good. You good. <laughs> How quaint of you to think that your mere presence here could possibly improve the general debauchery of this gathering. Crime is the least of my concerns tonight. What you concern? King Cop, solve. King Cop, help you. Oh, how reassuring to know that should I require the assistance of someone so industrious, you are here to offer your services. Have you happened to notice any unsavory characters lurking about this evening's festivities? King Cop, notice something suspicious. King Cop, ready to file report. Really? Is this really working? Pray, do tell me what the matter of suspicious activity has caught your vigilant eye, King Cop. I'm all ears. King Cop saw suspicious Elizabeth Bennet. Sus Elizabeth Bennet. Suspicious King Cop saw. How dare you imply such baseless, oh my god, accusations against my dear Elizabeth Bennet. Your insolence knows no bounds, officer. I demand you retract your slanderous words at once. King Cop, no, no slander. King Cop, only no truth and justice like you. King Cop like you, you like King Cop. This can't. I'm not flattering. King Cop found papers. King Cop found Elizabeth Bennet papers. Tax fraud, Elizabeth Bennet. King Cop saw. Elizabeth Bennet involved in tax fraud? 
This is the most distressing news. I can't believe that King Cop is re is what did it. Elizabeth Bennett, after an unpleasant encounter with a police officer disclosing your tax fraud activities, I have decided to terminate our association. Your penchant for mischief extends beyond verbal sparring and grand social spectacles. I can't fucking believe I did it. Good officer, what should I do next after receiving such an ungentlemanly breakup letter from Mr. Darcy? It okay. Not your fault, Mr. Darcy, like men. King Cop, no. Saw papers. It okay. Quite right, officer. I shall confront Mr. Darcy at once and bid him farewell. Let's see how this goes. How dare you deceive me, Elizabeth. Tax fraud? That is utterly unacceptable. Oh, please. Mr. Darcy, it's not my fault. King Cop misunderstood the situation. It's fu- What? It's fine? I will not stand for such scandal in my life. This is the final straw, Elizabeth. We are through. <laughs> Good riddance, Darcy. Now you can go gallivanting with men. I don't need your sarcasm, Elizabeth. Hooray, let's celebrate. It's a messy breakup, but at least we're done. What the fuck? This is, a, well, this is rather happy. And when people are happy, what do they do? They do. Hey, dude, welcome to the party. Nice syringe, man. Are you planning on giving everyone shots of love today or what? I think I've got an angle here. Let me just look something up real quick. This is Tren. You should come here and take my Tren. It'll make you bigger than Big Ben. <laughs> Whoa, hold up, dude. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Let's keep it clean and legal at this party, you know? You know, I really thought, I thought maybe that's what he'd want. Uh, you know, that was my angle. Keep it manly. Keep it manly. Yo, what's up, my dude? Welcome to the party. Can I interest you in some heart-shaped snacks? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Only if they're absolutely turbo-loaded up with protein. You know I'm trying to hit those m -m 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 macros <laughs> I got you covered, man. These snacks are like about that protein life. So how's your Valentine's Day going so far, dude? Pretty good, bro. Just ripping farts and breaking hearts. You know how it is out here. But it's tough being a hot single hunk of man like me. What the hell? <laughs> Sounds like you're living the dream, my man. Keep on breaking those hearts and rocking that bachelor. Oh, fuck. Do you think we could tempt him? I think we could. All right, let's do this. Wet floor sign. Hey there, salsa dancer with a wet floor sign. Hope you're ready to have a groovy time at this Valentine's party, man. Hey. Hey, hey, what's up? Are you here to keep the party safe from any slippery moves? Huh? Yeah, huh? That's cool, man. So, do you really think there's a wet floor situation here? Or are you just busting out some sweet dance moves with that sign? Huh? Yeah, sign. Mm. Oh, for real? So, like, where's the spill at? I wouldn't want Barty to slip and mess up her killer outfit, you know? Huh. Yeah. Slip. Oh, snap, really? I gotta keep an eye out for Barty then, huh? Thanks for the heads up, dude. Huh? What's going on? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, man, just having a little chat about party safety, you know, but hey, do you ever wonder about, like, relationships and stuff? Huh. Yo, I'm trying... I don't, I don't think I'm Whoa, man, your words hit deep. Maybe it's time I figure some out. <laughs> Thanks for the thoughts, dude. How? Literally how? Hey, Barty. So, after speaking with that salsa dancer, I realized my relationship goals might be a bit different, you know? Stay awesome and keep shining bright, Barty. I don't know what to say to her. What do I do now? Why did Kendall mention a salsa dancer in the letter? I had sex with your boyfriend. Have a nice night. <laughs> I think, listen, this is an all-sides approach. The salsa dancer's confusion and lack of awareness about relationships made me realize there may be a need. I had sex- OH MY GOD! HOLY SHIT! A whole new can of worms just opened up. I, I can't even, I, I can't even bring myself to read these. Holy shit, he was not enough. Wow, I feel like I just exposed like so much that I didn't even know about. Okay, let's see, who's left? Construction, Alejandro. Festival volunteer gracing us with their presence. Let us embrace the night with passion and dance under the stars, mi amor. Do I just do this? Si, mi amor, tienes mis ojos y, y uh, tienes mi corazón siempre. Oh my god! And just like that, he thinks I'm his girlfriend. Okay. Ah, mi Rosalinda. Our love burns brighter than a thousand suns. Tell me, festival volunteer. Who do you think I- are you confused? Do you truly believe in the power of eternal love and dedication? Si. Tenemos una vida. Y necesitamos hacer sexo ahora. Okay. Tell me, festival volunteer. Do you understand the depth and intensity of true love? See, si. Me comprendo. Tu comprendes? También. <laughs> what? 
Ah, Festival Volunteer, your words are like a sweet melody to my ears. Tell me, do you believe in love's ability to conquer all obstacles and endure the test of time? How do I say, how do, how do you say love in like, what is, the, what is like the noun of love? Hang on, one second, one second. El amor. Okay, amor. Okay. Si. El tiempo es nunca en los ojos de amor. I don't know. I don't know if that was anything. I got stressed. Yeah, okay, kind of, sort of, sort of, sort of, not really right, but... Ah, uh, Festival Volunteer, your wisdom is as profound as a love ballad sung under the moonlight. Tell me, do you think love can heal all wounds and hold us together through the storms of life? You're using a lot of words that I don't know in Spanish. Si, pero tengo una pregunta. ¿Dónde está tu biblioteca? Ah, uh, mi amor, the library of my heart is a vast and mysterious place filled with the pages of passion and our memories. Tell me, Festival Volunteer... What knowledge do you seek within the depths of my soul? Necesito solo un libro de tu biblioteca. El libro de tu corazón, mi amor. Ah, uh, Festival Volunteer, your words weave a tapestry of tenderness and longing to my soul. Tell me, do you believe... Uh, I, I feel like we're going in circles right now. Fuck it. Si! Sí, te quiero! Te quiero mucho! Tenemos que hacer sexo. Mucho sexo. <laughs> Ay, mi corazón. Love is not just physical, it is a sacred union of hearts and souls. Festival Volunteer, do you truly understand the depth of emotional connection and commitment in a relationship like ours? Si. Sí. Y necesitas escribir un correo electrónico a Rosalindo por breakup. <laughs> I don't know how to say letter. I only know email. <laughs> Festival Volunteer, your words cut like a dagger to my heart. I must take action and write a breakup letter to Rosalinda and end this passionate but tumultuous chapter in our lives. Adios, mi amor. My dearest Rosalinda, our love was like a spicy salsa dance. But alas, I must step away now to explore new flavors in this telenovela of life. Adios, mi amor. I don't know how that fucking worked. Alejandro just ended things in a spicy salsa way. But I still feel like I can't move on, mi amor. Comprendo tus problemas. Pero Alejandro es homosexuales. It's my dad. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> my heart is torn like a telenovela plot twist. Listen, Duolingo didn't teach me that one yet, so I just had to pull up Google Translate. How dare you come here and accuse me of such things, Rosalinda? I demand an explanation for this madness. Alejandro, it's the truth. I have proof. You've been hiding your true self from me all this time. How dare you bring up such lies to tarnish my reputation, Rosalinda? I shall not stand for this betrayal. I, honestly, guys, I don't even know what I just said. I'm tired of living a lie, Alejandro. I deserve better than this facade of a relationship we have. Fine, Rosalinda. We shall part ways. But know this. It is you who will regret letting go of the fiery passion. Good riddance, Alejandro. I'm ready to move on and find someone who can handle the real Rosalinda. Not some fake amor. Adios, amigos. This is, uh... Una fiesta muy triste ahora. Oopso to oopso. There's one couple left to break? Who's left? <gasps> You. They're close. And right next to a police officer. Their love is inseparable. How are we going to do this? That's why they call it a goatee. Oh my god! Oh, you can launch that shit! Wait, 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 wait. I think the momentum charges. Wait, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Milk them? What the fuck? Steal their horse. Sniper rifle. Oh my god, I'm gonna challenge him to a duel. This'll go well. Well, slap my saddle and call me Sally. Howdy, partner. Look at this varmint looking like he just rode out of a Wild West movie. How can I help you, amigo? I challenge you to a duel, partner. You and me. Right here on Spooner Street. Whoa there, cowboy. Is that it? Fuck! Where's your partner? We'll see if he feels the same way. Oh, there he is. Last one. Here we go. Howdy, Emmett. How are you doing on this fine evening? Just fine, just fine. Enjoying the company and the music. How about yourself? Well, I'm doing uh, not so bad too, partner. I was just having an interesting conversation with Jesse over by the stable. Jesse? Yeah, he was over by the stables last I saw. Why do you ask? Well, it's interesting. See, the horses were there one second, and all of a sudden, Jesse leaves, and the horses are gone. Well now, that's mighty peculiar. You sure you ain't just seeing things in the dark? It was high noon, and I'm afraid those horses ran over my family ranch and killed my grandmother. They stampeded her to death. I'm right sorry to hear about your loss. Did you see Jesse leading the horses away, or do you have any proof he had a hand in it? That's the thing. When I heard him walking away, I heard clop, 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 and I saw a flash of a hoof. Well now, that don't look good for Jesse. I'll have a chat with him and sort this out. Appreciate you bringing this to my attention. That's the thing. It might be better if you keep this between us because I think Jesse is half horse. Half horse, you say? Now that's a new one. I'll take that into account when talking to Jesse. Well, that went pretty well. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't be with someone who might be half horse. 
Take care of yourself. Sincerely. <laughs> yeah, man. What, Tarnation? How can I prove I ain't no half-horse to Emmett? What should I do next, partner? I'm sure if you show him your hooves and tail and gallop around the town, he'll believe you. <laughs> Yeehaw. That's a mighty fine idea, officer. I'll show Emmett my hooves and tail and prove I ain't no horse. Where am I? Jesse, I reckon it's time we part ways. Well, hot diggity dog, Emmett. You finally realized I'm half-horse. This here relationship's a lost cause. Ain't no room in my life for a half-horse, Jesse. The police officer was right all along. Yeehaw. I should have shown you my hooves and tail sooner. Good riddance, Emmett. I'll find me a cowboy who appreciates a bit of horse in him. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, if you can't handle it, ah! horse play of it, then you ain't the cowboy for me. I'll be galloping off into the sunset without you. Jesse, you are in a public place. That's fucking crazy. Congratulations, Heartbreaker. With unmatched cunning and a quiver full of mischievous arrows, you've successfully sown discord among the love struck. Your talent for turning sweet nothings into sour somethings is unparalleled. Thank you for playing. And chat, just like that, once again, we've ruined dozens of lives. Thank you so much. Please take this as a template for what to do in your relationship, and I think it'll go amazing. Be wary of your boyfriend. They are half horse. And sometimes, just like spirit, you gotta set a horse free.